Hi friends, welcome to the other 167. I am Jyoti and I bring you greetings in Jesus' name. We have got so much to learn from the life of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And today we have Dr. Thomas Uman sharing with us the sufferings of Christ and its implications. Let's get started. Hi everyone who is watching me right now. I'm so thankful that I could come into your midst once again. Welcome to the other 167. Today is the fourth and the final episode of the series, The Sufferings of Jesus and Its Implications. Let's have a quick recap of the first three episodes. In the first episode, I shared with you how Jesus went through a lot of mental agony in the Garden of Gethsemane. All for the sake of us, so that he could overcome a temptation to run away from the sufferings that he had to go through. Then he was thoroughly disappointed to see one of his own disciples betraying him to the Jewish elders and the authorities. In the second episode, we discussed how he was led to six courts of trial. He did not resist and he did not try to justify himself. He suffered all those humiliation for the sake of you and me who believe in him. Then he went through horrible physical sufferings for the sake of you and me. He was scourged. He was punched. His beard was pulled out. He was humiliated. He suffered all this for the sake of you and me and for mankind and everyone who believes in him. An Old Testament prophecy also came true that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. He was chastised for our peace and by his stripes we are healed. Then in the third episode, I shared how one of his favorite disciples, Peter, denied and rejected Jesus, not once, thrice. And that too was a prophecy told by the Lord himself and it came true. But yet, when Jesus came back to life, he asked, where is Peter? That clearly shows that even when we deny or reject Jesus, he will not deny us and he will not reject us. And then we also discussed about how a crown of thorns was placed on the head of Jesus and how he started bleeding from his head. The crown of thorns is a symbol of poverty. And when he started to bleed, and when you believe that he bled for your, your sake and my sake, every form of poverty that could come against us will be taken away in the name of Jesus. It will be rejected because he bled for yours and my sake. And in today's episode, I would like to continue with the remaining sufferings Jesus went through for the sake of mankind. He was being led to the place of crucifixion. The name of the place was Golgotha. And as he was being led, people were swearing at him. The soldiers were mocking him. But yet, he did not utter one word. On reaching the spot, they nailed his hand on the cross. They nailed his feet on the cross. And then they made the cross upright. They waited for him to bleed to death. But as his life was slowly being taken away, and when he breathed his last, 
no one realized that the sin of the entire mankind was nailed to the cross when you believe that jesus christ allowed himself to be captured allowed himself to be tortured allowed himself to be crucified every sin that you had committed has been forgiven he will our heavenly father will remember our transgressions no more and you don't need to have that sense of guilt anymore because he died for our sake it's not because of any sacrifice that we did or became or because we uh, gave our life to the lord no not that re- it really doesn't matter much to qualify us to become sanctified the only matter which is sanctified or which which finds value in the eyes of a heavenly father is the crucifixion and the sacrifice of jesus christ and there is something more that i would like to add when the hands of jesus christ was crucified to the cross and when he started to bleed from his hands there is an implication for mankind and who believe in that suffering of us everything that you do anything that you do anything that you touch will be blessed and also when you believe that the feet of Jesus Christ was crucified to the cross for the sake of mankind everywhere we go anywhere that we step that place will be blessed what more could mankind expect we are sanctified and we are righteous in the eyes of a heavenly father just because jesus christ died for our sake and when do we remember this we need to remember this at all time but we need to remember particularly when we are celebrating the holy Communion. that's the time that you need to remember this the sufferings that he went through because the communion is meant to remember his sufferings and not a time to remember anything that we did so please share this good news with as many people and as many non believers as possible so that they will also come to know that there is a god who became a human being just for the sake of redeeming mankind with this i end the final episode of the series the sufferings of jesus and its implications thank you for hearing and i'm looking forward to share with you another message from the lord in the coming days thank you such a wonderful message by dr thomas Hume. because of christ death on the cross we are made righteous in the eyes of god if you like our videos please to subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon you can also follow us on facebook and instagram and write to us on the below mentioned email may god bless you have a great week ahead